Hey, this is Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans, and this is SSJ Goshen 4. Her figures are over 9,000! Hey guys, this is SSJ Goshen 4 here, and today, doing something a little special with... Jagai Cosplay, and we're both interviewing... Stephanie Nadalmi, <laughs> voice of Goku and Gohan from Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, and Dragon Ball GT. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. And uh, we got a couple questions for you, um, asked by the viewers. So, all right, let's, be, let's begin. <laughs> First one, how did you get the audition and how, how did you get the role? Wow, that's a long time ago. <laughs> long before all of you were born. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, actually, it all started, I was singing in a touring show band called Vince Fans of the Valiants. We were traveling all over the United States and a little bit of Europe. And in doing so, I ended up meeting in Denton, Texas, um, Brave Combo, which is a Grammy Award winning polka band. And um, I just fell in love with them. They're amazing. Um, and I just met the band members and then ended up sitting in with them because we were doing shows together, Vince Vance, The Valiants, and Brave Combo. We were kind of opening up for each other over the years. And then I got to be friends with the lead, um, the lead writer and, uh, and the lead leader of the whole band, um, Carl Finch. And then um, he actually hired me to do some, some work in the studio. So I started doing backup vocals for some projects. And so, um, one of those projects was called Cywars. And Cywars was actually produced and all of that by Funimation. And one of the guys at the studio, his name was Barry Watson, was there when I was singing. And we got to know each other and he asked me if I did voices. And he was actually taping Dragon Ball Z up in Canada at the time. And I gave him my card. And um, I've always done voices as a kid growing up and mimicking and um, he called, I guess six, eight months later, remembered me and said, I'd like to come in to audition for a show called Dragon Ball Z. I had no idea what it was all about, but that's where it all began. And then when I went in, I auditioned for what I thought would be, you know, female characters. And they said, try a little boy voice. And I was like, okay. And then they just told me to get raspy and, you know, sound like a little boy. And then I was cast as Gohan. I got the the voicemail on my phone and I just was just overjoyed. I was really excited. It was a long time ago. I think it was like January of 1999. Wow. All right. That was a long ago. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So what was the biggest highlight moment that you will never forget playing either Goku or Gohan? Yeah. Wow. Well, they're both amazing and yeah, so fun. They are. They're yeah. so fun. <laughs> Voicing little boy, a little boy is so cool. Like I never ever thought in a million years I would be voice acting let alone a, the voice of a child. It's so great. And the voice of a little boy is even better. It's so much fun. And, you know, um, obviously, I guess one of my personal most iconic moments is definitely the um, the Cell Saga with Gohan. Um, it was really seriously um, some absolutely the most intense work I've ever done as a voice actress. Um, and um, there were days where I was there, um, sometimes three full days a week, where I was channeling this voice, this most Clint Eastwood, you know, grovelly, um, screaming for minutes and minutes at a time. And um, the good thing is I've, I've been a, a singer and that's really helped me because it's, um, my voice didn't just go out. I was able to kind of um, handle those scenes, those tough scenes, because I guess I'd been singing on the weekends and I was, um, there was some stamina there that I was so glad for. I still needed my rest and I still needed Lots of water, <laughs> but um, I, I definitely was some of the most intense work because I really felt like I was there, like I was right. really uh, fighting the yeah. you know the bad guy, and it was like fight the good fight. I was really into right. it. Like my whole yeah. body was like yeah. I was trying not to hit the wall, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. and then Goku, you know, just happy go lucky, fun Goku, you know. Yeah. Pain in the right. lake. Yeah, of course. Uh -huh. you know, doesn't Please. know he's naked. Doesn't know who's a girl or a boy. It's like uh -huh. can, that's just hilarious. He's yeah. you know? so cute and innocent. I love it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, his greatness. Okay, next up we got what character was easier to voice, Goku or Gohan? Easier would have to be Goku, and that's because it's higher in the voice. Okay. It's not as grovelly. It doesn't um, really kind of tear up the vocals as much as Gohan. Um, Especially when Gohan is in the Cell Saga, of course. But yeah, Goku's much higher in the voice. Um, there's a whole different delivery. It's a whole different place in my throat. Um, much less stress on the on the voice overall. Right. Right. Love them both, yeah. but They're just awesome. saying. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, um, how did you come up with uh, both voices, and how did you do that? Well, from the beginning, I really truly. I wanted to please the directors. I wanted them to like me. I wanted them, you know, am I doing a good job? You know, and I remember the first few times I came in, I was really 
it wasn't that I was shy, I was just, I really wanted to do a good job. So um, I listened very carefully to what they wanted from me. And um, I listened to the description of the scene and where we were and what was going on. Um, because it was very confusing because we started taping it um, at the Gin I think it was the Ginyu Saga. Yeah. And yeah. so we were kind of diving right into, you know, like episode 54 or something like that. So I wasn't really sure what was going on. So I remember the first time I came in, you know, I just really wanted to do a good job. So I just listened really close to the direction. And once we picked the voice, it's like, okay, that's it. Then it was on recording. And then, you know, if I came in, say, a week or two later, and I was like, well, where, what was the voice again? They would just play me a reference in my headphones. And then I would just... Being a natural mimic, thankfully, I was able to go to that voice every time. And then after, after I dubbed a few episodes, it was just like I knew exactly where to go with the voice. And then the the voice of Goku kind of came along. That was just kind of a blessing. They just picked up the Dragon Ball series and um, cast me immediately because they thought, well, they're related, you know. Let's just she just pitches her voice up a little higher and have a different delivery, you know, be like the innocent little boy and just kind of like, yeah. I remember, I just remember the first time I recorded Goku at the beginning of that episode and yeah. it was just greatness. I just, it was, he's like flying on the Nimbus and <laughs> it was so fun. So, it's a I, carefree voice, you know. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I was really glad so. that I was able to, or hopefully evoke a completely different character through the voice, but they can sound similar because they're related. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So I got yeah. lucky there. Cool. And are you more of a Goku or Gohan fan? Me personally? Yes. Um, well, both, but for different reasons. Um, the Goku fan, little Goku's because, like I said, I, I don't have children. I've always wanted children. Um, haven't had that chance. Don't know if I will. Um, mm -hmm. So I really embraced the the little tiny child in both of them, really. Right. Yeah. Um, it was like these are these are this is what I would sound like if I was truly like a child and mm -hmm. we, I was a child we're all children so right. we know what we felt like when we were a child and um, I have a very vivid memory of being very young and and how you feel when you're very young and so it was really neat to just kind of channel you know what that would, would be and I think for Goku it's more I like the innocence and the the slapstick and the comedy and his um, his fervor and he's just like nothing seems to scare him he's just like you just put him in any situation and he's like you know like with general chow he's is it chow is that how you say it he's just running around and throwing general things chow. Yeah. chow yeah, yeah it's like he could totally just get you know his head just could get like cut off and he's like you know <laughs> can't catch me <laughs> you know and he's like jumping in and out of the water and playing jokes with them and he's yeah. slinging those ninja things yeah. at him and it's like so fun it's like and it's hilarious it's so funny when he's you know, doesn't like i said he doesn't know a girl from a boy he doesn't know um that he's naked he doesn't you know and then go on what appeals with, to me about gohan more than anything is that um he channels he finally just you know he he holds back for so long so long so long you know for so many years and then finally he he unleashes this amazing power that i don't think he even knew he had right yeah and i yeah. think yeah. that that's something that i can relate to with growing up and moving around and being the new kid and kind of being bullied at different schools and then i was always so quiet and i never fought back mm. and now that i'm grown up i want to like totally go out and like campaign for bullying mm. and like help kids get through school and it's like I feel like I can relate to Gohan in that yeah. way. Like he's yeah. finally like, no, this is it. I'm the, this is enough. I've been picked on my whole life. You're not gonna mess with my friends anymore. Yeah. I'm done. I'm, and this is all about fighting the good fight oh, right. and doing the right thing. And that's what I'm kind of doing in my life now is like really trying to do the next right thing. And and you never regret that when you do the next right thing. Oh, oh. That's wonderful. Yeah, that cool. really is. Yeah. Well. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cool. And uh, in addition to playing Gohan for the amount of years that you did, you actually got to watch him grow up. Right. Mm -hmm, but exactly. also, what was it like to pass on the torch to um, Kyle Haybear after that? Oh, it was yeah. great. Uh, <laughs> I, it was great. I mean, I missed it, but it, it had to be done. It's mm. like he's a, okay, he's a teenager now. He's yeah. going to school. You know, um, <laughs> see, you know, I remember being. I think I was told that Gohan, you know, he's like leaning back in the grass and he's, you know, it's all over and his hair's all gold. And he's yeah. like, I think they say he was 11, um, 11-ish, 12-ish. Yes. Yeah, 11 yeah. And yeah. then when we came back, it was like... Um, he's like 17. Yeah. yeah. Right. And, and he's in school. And you know, I played um, Angela, his yes, first date. Yes. Oh my God, I love that. That's up! You wear teddy bear underwear! <laughs> <laughs> it just kind of happened. It's like, so I 
dating myself. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's always my joke. <laughs> but no, it's great because I know Kyle personally, and um, we mm. I met him at some cast parties, and I have a huge respect for him and mm. his voice. And of course, he did the narrator. Yes, yes, and, yes, um, he, did, yes. and he had he was like such a big fan of anime, like already, like he was already such a big fan, and then he was just he jumped right into it and had mm. this talent and. Now he's just giant, huge. Yeah. He's just my big teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I miss him. I wish he was still in Texas. He kind of looks like the Ox King. <laughs> he does. Yeah. We did and a, he plays uh, the Ox King. Yeah. I know. Yeah. And he, 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 we did a lot of cons together early on. In fact, a lot of the cast and I did a lot of cons together yeah, yeah, back yeah. in the day. We, we were kind of a tight knit group back then, and now it's just grown, grown so big. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So yeah, I oh. remember I have got a lot of really good memories. Yeah, excellent. Thanks for taking the time for answering these questions. We really appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. of course. It's great. Yeah. I hope you guys continue to, you know, do what you're doing and watch the show and let me know how, what you think. <laughs> and Love for Dragon Ball. Carry yes. it on with your kids and have some fun with it. Of course, definitely. So it'll live on forever. Yeah. <laughs> Kamehame! Ha! Yeah! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Peace out. Yes. <laughs>